Where's the barber, Bob? Wish he'd hurry up. We might have to take things in our own hand. Hang on. You can't wait forever, Bob. Put this in here. Luckily, Robert, there's a book of instructions on how to shave a man. See what it says. It was the man from Ironbark who struck the Sydney town. He wandered over street and park, he wandered up and down. He loitered here, he loitered there, till he was like to drop. Until at last in sheer despair, he saw the barber shop. Air shave my beard and whiskers off, I'll be a man of mark. I'll go and do the Sydney toff up home in Einbark. The barber man was small and flash, as barbers mostly are. He wore a strike your fancy sash and he smoked a huge cigar. He was a humorous of note and keen at repartee. He laid the odds and he kept a tote, whatever that may be. And when he saw our friend arrive, he whispered, Here's a lark. Just watch me catch him all alive, this man from Ironbark. There were some gilded youths that sat along the barber's wall. Their eyes were dull. Their heads were flat. And they had no brains at all. <laughs> <laughs> to them, the barber passed a week, his dexter eyelids shut. I'll make this bloomin' yokel we'll think his bloomin' throat is cut. As he soaked and rubbed it in. <laughs> Of course they're not. I suppose it's, he made a snide remark. I suppose the flats are pretty green up at Ironbark. A grunt was all reply he got. He shaved the bushman's chin, then made the water boiling hot and he dipped the razor in. He raised his hand, his brow grew black. He paused a while to gloat. And slashed the red eye razor <laughs> across his victim's throat. <laughs> Upon the newly shaven skin, it made a livid mark. No doubt it fairly took him in, the man from Ironbark. He fetched a wild up country yell that might wake the dead to hear. And though his throat he knew full well was cut from ear to ear, he struggled gamely to his feet and face the murderous foe. You've done for me, you dog, I'm beat. One hit before I go. I only wish I had a knife, you blessed murdering shark. But you'll remember all your life, the man from Einbark. He lifted up his hairy paw with one tremendous clout. He landed on the barber's jaw, not the barber out. He set to work with tooth and nail, he made the place a wreck. He grabbed the nearest gilded youth and tried to break his neck. And all the while he strove to hell to save the vital spark. And murder, bloody murder! Bloody murder! He yelled the man from Einbark. <laughs> the pale man who heard the din came in to see the show. And he tried to run the bushman in, but he refused to go. And when at last the barber spoke and said, "'Twas all in fun. "'Twas just a harmless little joke. "'Trifle overdone.'" <laughs> a joke, he cried by George, that's fine. A lively sort of lark. I'd like to catch that murdering swine some night in Einbark. But now... That's on the while round the shearing floor, the listening shearers gape. He tells the story over and over and brags of his escape. Them barber chaps that keep a tote by George, I've had enough. One tried to cut my bloomin' throat, but thank the Lord it's tough. 
whether he's believed or no, there's one thing to remark. The flowing beards are all the go. Why up in all <laughs> <laughs>